What was the reason to click on this video? And let me guess, am I going to instill what's on my mind? I believe that you can spare just a few minutes of your free time to listen to this video. Today's topic is on quantifiers. This is the most important topic which you can excel if you listen to me carefully for the next few minutes. And let's get started with quantifiers. So the, what is quantifier? So quantifiers are the words that refer to quantities such as some or small. So here quantifiers are used to express the quantities without any exact number. There is no exact number here. We can say some students or all the students, but there is no number for any of the students. So the quantities which has no exact number. So those are called the quantifiers. So there are two types of quantifiers. One is a universal quantifier and the next one is existential quantifier. So coming to universal quantifier and existential quantifier, there is a slight difference here. So universal quantifier is generally denoted by for all x. See here, the symbol here is for all x. And next one, existential quantifier is denoted by there exist x. See here, the symbols here are like this. And universal quantifier stands for for all, for every, for each, everything, for any. See here, it refers to everything here as it is a universal quantifier. Whereas coming to the existential quantifier, so in any sentence, if you see there exist, there is at least one such that for some, for few. So they are a limited quantity here in an existential quantifier. Whereas in universal quantifier, so for all, for every, for each, for ev everything, for any. So all are preferable here. So few or some are prefer preferable in existential quantifier. So that is the difference and these two are the symbols which are generally denoted and there are two types of quantifiers. One is universal and one is existential. And next one quantifiers are nothing but the quantities are expressed without giving any exact number. So clear? So coming to the examples here. So universal quantifier. So how we can express this one? So here is a statement and symbolic form. The first question here is nothing but all men are mortal. So all here. So all is generally refers to universal quantifier. So, so for every x. So if you see in a sentence all, so this is an universal quantifier which we have to use. Generally universal quantifier is given with a symbol for all. So here all men are mortal. The statement here can be written as for all x. If x is a man, then x is mortal. So this is if and then statement. If there is if and then statement, we generally use implication. So as it is an universal quantifier, symbolically we can write for all x. See here, if x is a man, so m of x, implication, x is mortal. Let us say it is h of x. So mortal I have considered as h of x and man I have considered as m of x. So symbolically, we can write this as for all x, m of x, implication, h of x. So this is how we have to express it symbolically. And the next example here is every apple is red. The statement for this we have to write is every so here everything so in the universe everything so for every it's as it is a universal quantifier in the sentence itself we can identif identify that it's a universal quantifier we have to use and here the statement can be written as for all x if x is an apple then x is red see here how i'm going to write so for all x so if x is an apple then it is red in color clear so this is red in color so for every x a of x implication r of x so this is the symbolic notation which we have to use a next one an integer is either positive or negative statement see here for all x an integer so there are so many integers here so for all x if x is an integer then x is either positive or negative then see here how we have to represent for all x if x is an integer then it might be positive or negative see here 
this is an integer symbol this is positive and this is negative as we are using universal quantifier so this is for all x z of x implies this is p of x or n of x so these are the few examples of the universal quantifier in the statement itself we can identify all this is every and as these are integers so here z of x implies as this is either positive or negative so this is how we have to write symbolically and coming to the existential quantifier there exists a man so after seeing there exist so as it is an existential quantifier we have to use the symbol there exist a man so symbolically we are going to write this as there exists x see here there exists such that m of x so m of x is a man so this is how we have to write there exists a man so there exists a symbol and m of x is a man and next one some men are clever only some are there if there is a sum or few so we have to use the existential quantifier as the symbol there exists an x such that x is a man and x is clever so this is the statement and symbolically we can write this as so there exists a symbol is nothing but there exists x see here there exists an x such that m is a man first of all he is a man and he is clever so clever i am writing this as a c of x and this is a man so this is how we have to use existential quantifier there exists x there exists an x such that x is a man and he is clever so this is how we have to use the symbols for all and next there exists see here the third example here is some real numbers are rational some real numbers if you see some or few so exactly this is an existential quantifier and see the statement here is there exists an x such that some real numbers are rational numbers see here the symbolically what we have to write so we have to write this in the form of there exists x see here there exists x they are some real numbers and which are rational so r1 is a real number and there might be a rational numbers so this is how we have to use the symbolic notation or symbolic form next write each of the four in the symbolic forms see here there are few examples here write each of the following in the symbolic form as you see this is all so if there is all this is universal quantifier v of x clear this is a universal quantifier all men are james so how we have to write symbolically for all x so if there is a man so he is a jaint jaint means g of x i am installing as g of x see clear and next one no men are jaints no men so here no men are jaints here also for all x for all x so if you take a man he is not a jaint he there is a no indication for men here no men are jaints so no for jaints here there is a negative statement for jaints if you find a man he is not a jaint for all x m of x implication negation of g of x next is sum here if you see sum refers to existential quantifier this is existential quantifier and therefore some men are jaint so if we have sum we are going to use the existential quantifier if you take any men so he is a jaint see here and g of x so and symbol we have to use for existential quantifier next some men are not jaints here there is few some some means existential quantifier we have to use symbolically this can be written as there exists x such that the men which are not jaints so negative statement of jaints see here these are the symbolic notations which you can write so in seeing the statement we can identify whether it is a, a universal or existential quantifier which we have to use and clearly for all for every for any for everything for uh, everything we have to use universal quantifier and for few some like that we have to use existential quantifier and uh, generally we use if then statement for universal quantifier and under or statements for existential quantifier and our next question here is 
let P of x be a statement. See here, P of x be a statement. See, this is also very simple. x plus 1 is greater than x. What is the truth value of the quantification of existential quantifier of P of x? See here, in the question, what is given? P of x is given as x plus 1 is greater than x. So, if I consider P of 1, if I keep 1, that is 1 plus 1 is greater than 1. So, 2 is greater than 1. So, this is true. And if you take 2 here, so this will be 2 plus 1 is greater than 2. So this is 3 greater than 2. This is also true. And therefore, if I take 3 here, so this is 3 plus 1, 4. So in place of x, we have to write 3. This is 4 is greater than 3. So therefore, if you continue like this, so here each and every statement is true. So they are all true statements. Since p of x is true for all real numbers x, the quantification existential x into p of x is true so clear and next one what is the truth value of the following quantifications here for all x q of x q of x is given as x less than 1 so if i consider x is equal to 1 so 1 is less than 2 which is true if i take it is 2 and see this will be 2 less than 2 and next one if i take 3 so this is 3 which is a wrong statement so this is also this is a wrong statement this is also a wrong statement therefore q of x is not true for every real number of x if you take any real number so these are not true and therefore our q of x is false it is a false statement next the second one is for every x p of x p of x is given as x square less than 10 so if you take p is equal to 1 so 1 square less than 10 clearly 1 is less than 10 true if you take p is equal to 2 2 square this is 4 less than 10 4 is less than 10 this is also 2 true p of 3 3 square this is 9 less than 10 so this is also true and if you take 4 see here 4 square this is false as it is a 16 so this is false so as we got a false statement for p of at x is equal to 4 therefore p of 4 is a statement so 4 square is less than 10 which is not true and therefore for all x p of x is a false statement so this is how we have to tell whether it is false or whether it is true in this case so it is false it is not true for each and every domain and therefore, this is true for each and every value. Therefore, the statement here is true for all integers. So, this is how we have to calculate. And hope you all guys understand what is a quantifier, types of quantifiers, what is the symbols and what are the standard forms of a universal quantifier and existential quantifier. A few examples I have taught you. And hope you can practice and you can definitely, you can write any of the statement using the symbolic form or the statement you can write by your own thank you for watching and staying till the end if you really like this video you know what to do please pass it on to your friends and definitely subscribe to this channel for more videos and go to the playlist definitely there are so many videos awaiting for your preparation and thank you so much if you practice well definitely you can score more thank you so much